In this video, I'll be taking you through some of the features of Zeta, which is the playback software used here in Stag Radio Studio One for all of our live broadcasts. So any music that you want to play out or any pre-recorded audio that you want to play out, it'll all be done through Zeta, usually. Um, so you can see the, the basic interface here on the screen. Um, and I'm just going to take you through each part one by one. Um, it's all fairly straightforward, but um, it just takes a little bit of time to get the hang of it. Um, so starting on the top left, we've got the clock here, which is, is useful for timing your show. Um, and then we've also got the gap time here, which I'll come on to in a little bit, but that's quite a useful thing as well. Um, and then across the rest of the top of the interface, we've got um, this area where you can see what song is currently being played, um, how long it's got left, both with the time and also the sort of the green progress bar across it. Um, and then you can also see the next three pieces of audio that are queued up to be played as well. So that's useful if you, so you can see what's coming up next and you can see the song name and the artist in this view as well, which is uh, always handy to have. And then uh, over on the right-hand side, we've got the big play button, which when you're uh, talking in between songs and then you want to play the next song, that's that's the big button that you hit. Um, so it's useful to have that there as well. Um, we'll come on to what auto up here means in a minute, but that's another important area. Um, and then moving on to the bottom right, we've got effectively what uh, an expanded version of what we've got up the top here. So we've got the um, all the songs that are coming up and all the previous songs that are played as well, which is useful to see. Um, so you can see the current song, you can see uh, everything else that is queued to play. Uh, at the moment it's just automatically queued by Zeta because there's no show on, um, but you can you can change that yourself and, and drop your own shows uh, songs in rather uh, and everything like that. Um, if for some reason this view sometimes this view is like on the on the wrong time or whatever um the reason for that is that it auto scroll is turned off so to get back to wherever we are now all you need to do is hit that home button there and that'll turn auto scroll on which will take you back to where wherever it is and also it will automatically keep the currently playing song in sort of the middle of the screen there which is useful to have um and so then over on the left hand side we've got all the sort of the media effectively so over here we've got the whole library of all the songs that are on here at the moment there's 14,101 songs so a massive amount of songs and if you want any of those songs uh, you can just type in whatever you want here obviously it's a bit hard to just scroll through so you just type in the song that you want and it'll appear here or hopefully will at least um, and you can see we've got several results here and then you click click and hold and drag it across to wherever you want to place it uh, in the order here so then I can just place it here and it will add that song there um, now at the moment set is in auto mode so by adding a song there uh, it does it but in hour blocks and it wants to keep each hour block as an hour long so if I'd, I've added a song so it means that it will automatically skip a song at the end of the hour um, which it has done here um, you'll be able to see in fact it skipped a few there at the, the end of the hour um, so that's just Zeta automatically keeping to those hour long slots. Um, so you can see there's loads and loads of songs to choose from, but if, if that's not enough, if you want to add your own song, then, uh, you just go to wherever it is on Windows Explorer, you can plug your USB stick in or whatever. Um, and then you simply find the song that you want to add, click and drag across to there. This will come up and then you, you enter the, the track name and the artist and then you can add markers and, and stuff if you want as well but fundamentally it, tr please try and add uh, an accurate uh, track title and artist because it means because it's then added to our library library so if someone else comes along and wants that song and they search for the song it means they'll be able to find it and it will make our library bigger and more useful every time you do that so please try and do that if you can uh, just add as much information as you can about it um, and that would be really useful. But that's just uh, once you sort of save that there, that will um, that will be in the library from then on. You can then find it and just just drag it across, and you're all sorted. Um, so 
Uh, the other thing we have here is links. So this is exactly the same as songs. You can add your own by doing the same process. But this is for any sort of spoken word bits between songs or uh, at the beginning of your show, anything like that, anything pre-recorded. Um, so, you know, saying this is Stag Radio or whatever. Uh, you can record it and then you can drop it in here and then it'll be in the system and you can drag it across during your show. Um, and similarly for shows, if you pre-record your whole show, you can you can whack it in that, that folder and it just keeps everything nice and separate. Um, so when you're doing a show, what you need to do is you need to drag in all the, all the songs that you want uh, in your hour. So you drag them all across to the, the right hand side. And then um, what you want to do is you want to take Zeta out of auto mode and you want to put it into live assist. Because when it's in auto mode, it'll just keep on playing songs until the end of time, basically. It, it always wants to be playing music. But if you put it in live assist, then you can stop between songs if you want. Uh, and talk for a bit, which you know obviously you want to do on most shows generally. So um, make sure you always set it back to auto at the end of your show. Please make sure you do that, otherwise uh, there's a chance that you know we'll just not have anything on the air and that's that's not good. but um, if you set it to auto, then all will be fine after your show. So but when you start your show, you want to put it into live assist. and then any song at the end at the moment, it's just, it's just going right into the next song because you can see on the chain column here there are all arrows which just means that it's going to go into the next song say at the end of Layla here we want to change it so that we want to talk after that song we put in at what's called a chain stop so you just click there and then click chain stop um, and then that will stop Zeta from automatically playing the next song Natalie don't um, and then you can talk in between Layla and the next song. And then when you want to play the next song, you just hit the big play button up in the top right there. So nice and simple. Um, when you put it into Live Assist, uh, Zeta stops worrying about your hour and how long you've got left in there. So you can see our gap's gone up there because it's it's stopped skipping the songs it was previously gonna skip. So you can skip songs manually here if you just tick the skip box. Um, nice and simple. Um, but the the gap is um, a very useful measurement because that basically um, shows you how far over or far under the hour you're going to be with the amount of uh, sort of pre-recorded material you've got left in your hour. So if you add 40 minutes worth of songs to your hour, uh, then you'll have a, a gap of minus 20 to start off with. Um, so that sort of tells you you've got 20 minutes of time to talk to fill that hour up. And obviously, if you talk for five minutes and then play the next song, it'll you have then have a gap of 15 minutes. So that's a really useful way of telling you sort of how much talk time you've got left on your show. So it's good to keep an eye on that gap because um, by your sh by the end of your show, it should be you know sort of close to zero ideally. Um, but if it's if it's positive, then that means that with the current music that you've got left, you, even if you do no talking, you, you're going to go over your hour, which obviously isn't ideal. Um, so yeah, you can skip songs very easily with the skip. Uh, you can put chain stops uh, just by doing that or change them back just as easily. Just left click and then choose the one. Um, so that's that's sort of the, the gist of, of the basics. Um, the only other thing that you've got to worry about or well a few other things um if you if you see a song and you think you might want to add it but you're not sure what that song is uh you can right click and then hit audition and then you'll see up the top here that started playing and that plays out of um zeta prefade on the desk so if you pfl that on the desk that'll come out of the studio speakers and you can hear what the song is uh without it going onto air and you can sort of move where it plays in the song by just sort of clicking or clicking and dragging depending on what you want to do and stop it there as well so that's an easy way to just listen to stuff to figure out what stuff is or figure out what it sounds like and everything um, without it going on to air um, the final bit then is uh, there's another tab down here you can switch from logs to hotkeys uh, and this just displays a grid of um, rectangles and you can just like you would with your your other page you can put songs you can put links anything any audio you can just drag across and whack onto a hotkey so say i could whack one there and then it just appears there and anytime you click a hotkey it will play that audio uh, and it will play it onto the desk on the the zeta hotkeys channel so it's a different channel to the the rest of the music um so that's a really easy way say if you've got like an air ho horn sound effects that you want to play every time someone says something whenever you want to play it you can just like click it 
uh, on here and then it will play it out. So that's that's for things that you might want to play multiple times throughout your show. You're not sure when you're going to play them, that type of thing. You can just put on the hotkeys and you can have you can load up um, different hotkey shows so you can make your own show file for the hotkeys and uh, and sort of save your own hotkey setup there. So that's another really useful feature of Zeta. Um, I think that's about it for, for the basics of Zeta. Um, but the best bet is to just really get in and have a play around with it uh, when you're doing your show and um, just try and sort of get used to it, uh, get used to the layout. Uh, and as always, change it back to auto at the end of your show and all will be well. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks very much for listening and I'll see you in the next video.